Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. I'm sure you guys have seen this circulating around right now. With Travis's mom, Donna. Hmm. I mean, I think the who, secret's out. Who's she here to see? I mean, I think, I think. The- <gasps> everybody's loving it. Everybody's seeing it. And everybody's thinking this is such a great thing. Travis, you are making a huge mistake. I don't follow Taylor Swift like that, but I've obviously heard people make videos on her and talk about her. We've heard stuff like this before that conservatives need to look out for is because eventually what is going to happen with Taylor Swift is because she is psychopathic, my prediction is that she's not going to find someone to marry her because men, when they get together with her, realize that she's got a couple of screws loose. She does. That's just the truth. She's remarkably talented. She's turned those screws loose into wonderful boppy music, but she's crazy. And you hear stuff like this. And then I was going over another great video. I'm sure you all know Candace, but this YouTuber is named Un. Carly, that's U-N-C-A-R-E-L-O-Y. And you can check out what she says. The beginning of the Taylor Swift messy era, truly she has not matured in terms of choosing peace since she was 18, you know what I mean? Like, (laughs) she's definitely a very intelligent person and yet she chooses violence constantly. On November 11th- See, go check out that great video. Once again, that's by Un Carly, as you can see down. Oh, you cannot see it. Un Carly, right here. All right, so. Let me say this. People who think that Travis Kelsey is making some great um, plan. Listen, I don't know, man. Obviously, I'm not wealthy like Travis. I'm not got the, the, the crowd, the circle and stuff he's going on. Maybe this is all part of the plan. Maybe they plan this out. Maybe they've already talked to each other and say, hey, let's get some hype going. You know how Taylor is. Once again, I agree. I have not listened to Taylor in that way, but I I obviously know that from what I have seen over the years and people who do talk about her, people who are Swifties, they're all normally young people. And when I hear young, older women who talk about her, it's like, it's like Taylor has never grown up. Okay. We know she came from a well-established family. She got into music. Do I think she's a talented person? I'm assuming so. And people say she is. I haven't heard a lot of people say that her music is awful. So I'm assuming that she's a great artist. She does have a global impact. But she is like a child. I remember the few songs that I've ever heard from Taylor Swift. I have thought to myself, and this is the reason I never listened to her. The one thing I thought was, you know what? She always sounds like, I, I said, it feels like I'm always listening to a teenager. I said, I swear she makes music for teenage girls. Like as a girl who's 33 turning 34 she doesn't make music that sounds like it's for an adult life and so i was like i can't how am i supposed to obviously i'm a man first of all it's hard to relate to her anyway but nonetheless it's like how is adults supposed to relate to her and then i've heard of all her past grievances i know she's hanging out with jonas the jonas brothers ex-wife or about to be ex-wife it's like why would you hang out with an ex-boyfriend of yours because she dated him she dated that Jonas brother. I'm sorry if I get his name wrong, but she dated that Jonas brother. And it's been years, years. I think he broke up with her in a text or he broke up with her over the phone when she was 18. I mean, it's been years since they haven't been talking to each other. And now you're hanging out with his ex-wife. It's weird, bro. Like Taylor Swift is not something you want, Travis. It's not something any man should want. And that's the junk. To, that's the point of my video. Let me start right here. Men, I don't care how fine she is. Like I said, let's put them aside because that may be a plan of theirs. Maybe they want to get everybody riled up. Fine, don't care. Let's talk about us out here in the average world. Men, I am telling you, and I am not a good looking fella, okay? I'm an average looking fella. If I lost some weight, I'd probably look a little bit better. But I have dated two women, okay? Two women that every guy wanted. I've only twice in my life have I been able to do this. I probably have a two in 2,000 success rate, okay? Probably 0.2% success. But out of that 0.2, I've dated two women that every guy wanted. And I am telling you, there is a lot of reasons why some women are single. There is a reason why these good-looking women are single. That's why some of these women who you think, why isn't nobody dating her? There's always a reason why they end up breaking up, you know? And even though we know Taylor Swift had a relationship for six years and then, you know, she went bouncing around again. 
this is all that's happening, guys. It hasn't even been that long since she broke up with the guy she's been dating for six years, right? And here we go. We went from her to another guy, and now we're here at Travis Kelsey. I don't get it. Men, don't fall for this nonsense of going after the prettiest girl or going after the most successful girl in your college or out at your church or at your at the local bar, the best stripper. I don't know what you guys be doing. But nonetheless, man, I'm trying to tell you, go find a woman who is not like Taylor. She is insane. She only gets out a vendetta when she doesn't like you. Katy Perry, the guy who brought her masters, we know she will lead a legion of people at you. She just broke up with that guy, had all their friends unfollow him, right? Cut him off. Taylor is insane. Some men think they want that toxic insanity that they hear about it and they're like this woman's already hanging out with your mother travis she's crazy dog crazy guys when you hear about a woman who's crazy and you hear people say i oh, don't know dog but she got a little bit of a screw loose believe it walk away run for your life because when women have that reputation of being crazy it never gets better they will always be crazy. And you'll be the one looking stupid in a couple years from now. I'll be like, I don't know why I got with her. Boy, she was psycho. Travis, just go date your average girl. You've got the money. What what can she do for you? Her money doesn't matter to you. It's not like she's going to share that wealth with you. Her money's useless to you. Why don't you just go find another girl? You can find a dang Chiefs cheerleader. Go find somebody else to date. Why Taylor? Why Taylor? One of the most meanest people on the planet hey based off what we heard she's one of the meanest people you can meet and i'm saying she's one of the meanest people on the planet because of the impact she has if she doesn't like you she's gonna send hordes of teenage girls and all these weird swifties that are adults and they're gonna all come for you y'all remember what happened when that guy tried to buy her masters right that guy who bought her masters she made up a lie saying that he took it and stuff like that the man bought your masters because you never had him he did he didn't do anything wrong and she sent everybody after him and then you know what happened he got death threats he had to have 24 security 24 7 security all because taylor played the victim if taylor plays the victim on you travis you can say it's the end for you right yeah the chiefs fans will still love you people who people who love football will still love you we don't care us men ain't gonna care but everybody else oh they're gonna be sending you emails they're gonna be coming for your house they're gonna find out where you live they're gonna be oh we hate travis i can't believe he did that to her they're trying to make it seem like tra travis is just uh, is gonna be an absolute joke and even if this is all for publicity and this is just to get the fans right up, like I said before, just to get something going, just to have a little bit of fun. I know Taylor does that sometimes. I think it's goofy that you would even do that. I hate when people make these dumb business moves. They use there's, they use a relationship to get stuff going. I don't think it's a good marketing tactic. And I think it's dumb because because these are real people. Me and you are real people. She, Taylor really does have fans that like her for what reason? I don't know. Uh, and, T and Travis Kelsey, he has fans for good reasons, you know, and they take these people and they treat them like NPCs. They treat them like they're AIs and they just be like, well, what can we do to get these people to love us? What can we do to do this? Let's, what can we do to make our fans like get into this big, big um, a fight about should he date or should he this? And now they got to pick sides. Why do they mess with people like that? They know these people are going to get emotional over these people, but yet they use this as a marketing tactic. Travis Kelsey, please, please stay away from this woman. Please go do something else with your life. Don't fall into this dumb trap of getting the fans involved. Don't fall into the dumb trap of marketing or if this is for publicity in it, or if you really like her. That's disgusting. What? What in Taylor Swift's past makes you think that she's somebody you want to date? Like there's nothing about her. He said that he tried to what invite her to a concert or no, he tried to go to a concert or he tried to invite her out before and she said no. But now that it's becoming a thing, she's around your mother. Get this sick woman out your life, dog. Don't fall for the, the lie. Anyway, I'm gone. Peace.